Hello, 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 hello. If uh, I'm gonna keep. There you go. Now I'm gonna get the stream now. First question today we're having uh, uh, from Kino 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 verse, verse um, your name. Think about that. I, I'm having two pretty much the same images, but one of them is a bit. A, little, a, a wee bit pixelated, so I'm assuming this is what happens to you. I have never had that um, uh, problem, but what I tried to find, uh, what I found actually, is if this is the case, if your image is looking something like this, that's, uh, and not like a normal image, or the normal quality, you go to settings, right? You go to configure filter, uh, and there's a bunch of stuff that you can uh, touch on, or you can just hit restore to defaults if you have touched something. Now, I will go to display because this is where the, the magic happens, I guess. So, the display everything you see here is click on. I have a graphics card here, so I have chosen to use my graphics card. Very sometimes, um, crashes yesterday, especially the whole day. Uh, so I think by default, it's OpenGL. Uh, if you have uh, a Mac. OpenGL will do, even if you don't have a Mac, OpenGL is fine. And you, you click on those, right, and you change this to OpenGL, and then you click OK, and then you restart your, your program. My brother just passed by. Uh, he, he kept saying yesterday all night, he sounded like a dying cat. Hey. Moving on. <laughs> Now, yeah, how to import a video. You can import a video. You have to have Krita 5 or above. And your build-up in Krita has to work. If your build-up doesn't work, I will pay for you. Now, how to import a video. Now, I know that you said you don't want to import an animation. I, I understand. I understand. Um, but I don't have a live footage. Except that time where I was... Okay, but, but, but you know, I'm not gonna use that one, of course not. Um, import animation frames, and there's this one import video. And then I know it says animation, but you can still import a live action. Uh, again, I don't have a live action video except that one. Uh, and plus, it's raining uh, again outside, so I don't, I don't want to. Let's just click this, okay? Import video. I know it says animation, but you can still import a uh, normal video. And technically, if you think about it, any video that you watch is a sequence of images playing very, very fast. So you, I mean, even now, this is a sequence of images. So, eh. There's a couple of stuff, obviously, as I said, if your build doesn't work, well, yeah, yeah, kiss just your mama, mama goodbye, I guess. I don't know. And uh, let's say it works, so you can choose a video. It says a video file. So, I don't know how many, how different video files you can import. Uh, I'm gonna click this, and I think these are the ones that are um, supported by Krita. Again, it really depends on your build up, right? Uh, and you have this kind of uh, video file, you have the MP4 uh, video file, and you have this one, this one. So, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one. It's 12 seconds, right? Uh, and I check how many, how to, what kind of a step, like how long of a video you can import, and and you will see in a second. Uh, let's say this is the video. It's a video, okay? So we're gonna imp open and uh, create a crash the last time. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it might it might crash again. I don't use this feature a lot, so. <laughs> and I also blame my uh, running bag of potatoes. PC for that. So right now my video is 290 frames. Uh, the, the maximum above is 459, which is in total uh, 19 seconds. So 19 seconds, is that then? 19 seconds footage import. Okay, let's click OK and relax. And oh my God, is it, is it working? Is it work? It is working. Don't scare it, okay? We have to be patient. Again, this okay. <laughs> this really depends on your computer, how strong is your PC or your laptop. You can use your laptop, of course. 
use whatever you have. Uh, so this is important. It uh, created a new layer. We can double click on that layer. We can call this layer video. You know, I know it's animation, but it's a video. We just imported a video. And this is how you import a video. And if I want to move this video, I cannot just, you know, uh, um, pick the video with my transform tool. I need to add to the video layer a right button there. I need to add a transform mask, and then on that transform, I can move around my video. This is I'm showing you this so you can um position the video that you want. So because let's say you want to do rotoscoping, the way you're gonna do that if I hide this, the way you want to do that is to get your video, lower the opacity of the video, and move it position in the way you want, and then create a new layer on top and uh start um drawing on top of your video, basically do the rotoscope. It was fine. So the boogers attack. Uh, <clears throat> all the violation. Uh, where's that? Okay, so yeah, this question that I didn't... I, I tried to figure out why I that didn't have the time at the time that you asked that question, but I appreciate that, you know, I actually figure out how to do that. So in the crystal, if I delete this, uh, now we can do a uh, training animation. The way we do training animation is we have our animation layer, and to that animation layer, we add a transform mask. And then we go to our animation curves, and on that transform mask there, we add a keyframe. Okay? So once we go back to the animation timeline, uh, we can use the animation timeline because it seems to be easy to use that timeline. We can grab our transform tool and start animating this transform mask layer to add that training animation to our animation. So ideally, this should work. Now, for Mr. XYZ, it didn't work that way. Uh, and he figured out why. So when you, uh, when you set your transform layer, transform tool, um, you have to go to the tool options and you have to make sure that the preview here is accurate with instant preview because in his case as he mentions this one was too fast so keep in mind we still have our keyframes here now if i move around the timeline if i click uh again to create a animation with this uh you will see that it didn't remember the position of my um uh, of my layer even though I, you saw me moving it, but it didn't add the keyframe here. It didn't remember the position uh, and the coordinates, basically, of this. Because the preview here is uh, fast. So change this to accurate with instant preview. Again, this kind of depends on your PC. You can try it with accurate. Let's see if it remembers the coordinates. We're on a different frame, all right? Oh, it does. It does still remember. That. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. So you can either uh, use accurate or uh, accurate with instant preview. Again, this sheet that you have there. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Mine is the box with my brother. Uh, okay, my microphone stopped working. <laughs> of course it did. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope these uh, quick questions of yours uh, and the, the stuff that I show were helpful. And if you have a better solutions, obviously comment down below so people can see them and uh, use them uh other than that thanks so much for watching as i said uh i was quite busy the last two weeks i think um so now <laughs> uh I, i'll try to settle down a little bit and uh finish the the video ideas i have in mind and other projects that i'm also i'm working on and uh yeah so most of them <laughs> in the future uh but uh, probably this is the video that we're going to get for this week. Uh, and we'll see what happens next week. So uh, yeah, see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.